Hi, my name is Jay Haskamp and I'd like to welcome you to another Tech Talk by Frontier Precision. Today's session, we're going to go through the process to set up a GNSS contact in Trimble Access. GNSS contacts connect your Trimble controllers to either a VRS network or a single online cores receiver to be used as a base station. The GNSS contacts store the connection and login parameters for these receivers or networks. However, they do not store the internet access or connection parameters. They only reference them for the connection. The internet connections and setups need to be done separately. Let's take a look at an example of setting up a GNSS contact in Access. From the Trimble Access home screen, locate and select the settings icon. When you're in your settings, choose the connect icon and then choose GNSS contacts. Here is where we create our new GNSS contact which will allow us to connect through the internet to either a VRS network or a single online core station. To create a new GNSS contact, choose the new soft key at the bottom of the screen and give your contact a name. Under contact type, we are going to choose Internet Rover. Under network connection, we can have a couple of different settings here. If we are connecting via Bluetooth through a cellular phone, we will already have had our network connection created through Windows Mobile, and we could select it from a list, or if we needed to create it on the fly, we could choose Add down on the bottom of the screen. However, in this case, we are going to use a Wi-Fi connection to our controller to get on the Internet, so I'm going to choose Wi-Fi Active Sync from the list. Notice when I do that, it takes me directly to page 2. Now. In this instance, we are connecting to a VRS network, so we need to make sure that the Use NTRIP box is checked. If we are connecting to a single core site, the NTRIP box needs to be unchecked, and we simply enter in our IP address and port. In this example, since our VRS network requires a username and password by having the NTRIP box checked, we're going to key that in the two boxes below. There is my username, and I will key in my password. Now I need to put in my IP address. This tells the software where on the internet to go to get the correction stream. And then the IP port tells the software which port to access the information from. I have one other setting here that is sometimes used. Here we have a checkbox that says connect directly to mount point. Some VRS networks allow us to choose different mount points or streams of data to connect to when we start our survey. If I want to connect to a single mount point every time I start my survey and not have to choose it from the list, I can check this box and key in the mount point name as you see on the screen. In this instance, I'm going to uncheck the box so I have the option to choose the one I want every time I dial in. To store these settings, pick the Store button at the bottom of the screen, and I now have my GNSS contact created so I can access my VRS network. And that concludes our Tech Talk on setting up a GNSS contact in Trimble Access. I hope you found this beneficial, and we'll join us again next time. Thank you.